Hi, you guys. Uh, nobody has asked for this, so I don't think you guys even know that this shit is out yet. But this is Until Death Do Us Part. Oh, okay, exploded. It fucking exploded, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I remember that. A painful, high-pitched ringing echoes through my ears. It felt as someone was stabbing my eardrums. I couldn't hear anything that, but that damn ringing. <coughs> I registered a dull pain on my left leg, but I paid no mind to it. Why can't I hear anything? Bitch, because your fucking ears are fucking loud ass noise. Well, I look over at Alex and I notice him, his mouth moving. Is he speaking to me? Ooh, okay. Well, what? Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. We gotta get out of here now. Alex put his arm around my shoulder. And he helps me up to my feet. The second he lets go of me, a white steering pain runs up my leg. Well, my left calf. <clears throat> it courses through my body. I cry out in pain as I collapse back onto the ground. Val, what's the matter? Some, something's wrong with my leg. My leg crouches down and gently assesses my calf. When he lets out a curse and runs his hands through his thick black hair and, and anxiety. What, what's wrong with my leg? Looks like something sliced your leg. It's only a flesh wound, but it's still bleeding a good amount. Grabs the bottom of his shirt, rips off a long strip. Alex, what are you doing? Just hold still, okay? Let's gently place his, um, my injured leg on his left and start to generally. Okay, girl, that's a motherfucking word you made up. Uh, wrap a piece of cloth, a cloth around my wall. Gingerly. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Whatever. Um, I whimper out in pain every time the cloth makes contact with my upper wound. I try my best to fight the tears threatening to fall down my cheeks, but my efforts fail as a few stray tears slide down my face. Alex stops rapping and uses his thumb to wipe the tears dripping down my cheeks. I know it hurts, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm almost done. Okay. I hope you like your little... Uh, I hope you liked my little surprise, Kellyanne. Damn. You made a big mistake hurting my wife, Jeff. It's Jay, and I don't give a fuck about Valentina. Give me the safe, and I'll consider sparing you both. Not a chance, buddy. Alex fires his gun twice, and the bullets hit both of the uh, Jay's men, clearly in the head. They fall to the floor, but they're but they were dead before they hit the ground. You asshole! You killed my man. Calm down. I was gonna. Wait. I, I already said I was gonna kill Marcus in the first place. Your other soldier. Well. He was just unlucky. Holy hell. I was just killed two men. My husband just killed two men. He killed two men without moving one muscle. Without flinching once. Like it was something he did on a daily basis. Well, you know, he kind of is, bitch. What the fuck? And he wasn't faced at all. Are, are they dead? It was either them or us now. <laughs> I need you to hold the safe while I carry you, Valentina. Alex, I can walk. You're not walking. We're running. Oh. Alex places the safe in my hand, scoops me up in his arms, and starts to run. It was weird. Even though I I just saw my husband kill two men, I felt safe in his arms. (laughs) How could I be okay with my husband killing someone? Girl, what the fuck? This, This is... You know what? I'm so confused. Like, for her to know that her family's in the mob and they live the mob life, she's so fucking confused as to what the fuck goes on in the mobs. Blows my ass every time. 
did that make me a sick person? They probably didn't know. Fuck. Get them and don't stop until they're both dead and um, safe is in our possession. I want to say, who the fuck you talking to? Because them motherfuckers dead. Okay. And Jay, what the fuck your ass? What's we doing? Just standing around? I doubt that. Okay. Run for a while until we end up in a busy time. Well, you wasn't running. Well, I wasn't running. <laughs> Alex carried me the whole time. Did we lose him? I think so. How's your leg doing? Can you say? I think. How are you feeling? I'm alright, I think. I'm kind of upset about my swimsuit, though. After everything that just happened, you're upset about that damn bikini? I spent four hours looking for it. And now it's gone. We'll get you a new one. Don't worry. The bikini was one of a kind. I'm sure you'll find one better than the last. You'll come with me, right? Hell no. I'd rather be in another coma than go shopping with you again. Rude. Fine, I apologize. But Jesus fuck. Um, Valentina, you spent four hours in one damn store. You know what? Excuse me. I meant what I said. I'd rather be in another damn car, Mom, than go shopping with you again. It was strange. Laughing freely like this. It almost made me forget the fact that our car had just blown up. Or that Alex just killed two men. Girl, you're really obsessed with this. He killed two people, girl. Get over it. (laughs) We could have been killed today. We were seconds away from being blown into pieces. Hey, what's the matter? Everything is hitting me, Alex. The explosion, kill the killing, Jay. We almost died today, Alex. We were seconds away from dying. They put an effing bomb in our car and and you killed two people. <laughs> you were like dead shot from suicide squad. Hell no. Nah. How am I the only one bothered by this? I am bothered by it, Val. Well, actually, I don't give a shit about the men I killed. It was either them or us, and I made sure we were the ones that made it out alive. What pisses me off is the fact that you got hurt today. Alex, I'm fine. Damn it, Val, you're not. I should have insisted. In, well, I should have insisted with my father that today wasn't a good day to get the safe. Why didn't you tell me we were getting the safe in the first place? I don't know. I guess I'm not used to sharing my plans with someone. I read, I'm rather independent. Really, I, I would have never guessed. But in all seriousness, Alex, you can't continue to leave me in the dark. I realize you are used to doing your own thing and not answer to anyone but your father. But we're married now, which automatically makes me your partner in crime. My partner in crime, of course. We're a team now, Alex. Whatever you know, I should know. So I'd appreciate it if you let me know the next time we go on a life-threatening mission. Or rather... Or wait, or that Rosalind's lunatic ex-boyfriend is back in town. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry for not telling you. It's okay. And I'm always right. Whatever you say, darling. Where are we? We're a few blocks away from the Vegas house. Oh, yeah, we need to go to the Vegas house. I need to talk to Diego and Miguel. God, I can't believe I forgot. Forgot what? When I was captured, I think I saw Sophia. Sophia, are you serious? Yeah, I saw her right before James' pistol whipped me. His name is Jay. Really? I was so sure the asshole's name was Jessica idiot that's not even remotely close to jay well come on let's get out of here alex places the safe in his hand again his hands again and lifts me up in his arms he pulls me close to his body and starts walking towards the vegas house alex i can walk now you don't have to carry me anymore yes i do why because i like it i blush 
Um, seriously, yeah, Alex, what comment? Weird, all. Are you blushing, Valentina? No, shut up. Don't get shy, babe. You look beautiful when you blush. Just, just walk, Kelly. Jesus freaking Christ. Yes, ma'am. I could have carried you for longer, you know. I know, but my leg doesn't hurt as bad as before. I'm okay to walk. You know, most girls will kill for a chance to be carried by me. You're awfully vain. Yeah, I'm not like most girls. Yeah, you're not. They're not answering the doorbell. I don't think they're home. When they shoes do that shit, it stresses me the fuck out. Alex, what are you doing? What does what does it look like I'm doing? I'm breaking in. What what the hell are you breaking in? Because the Vegas didn't answer their door, duh. Okay, girl. Don't dub me. Usually when someone doesn't answer their door, you leave. You don't break into their damn house. Now, how are we supposed to leave when our car was just blown into smithereens? We call Fidel, duh. Wow. So you can duh me, but I can't duh you. That's just my right as your wife. No coffee, Dale. Our phones were in the car, Val. Okay, well, which means they're also blown to some of the rings. Damn it. Can't we just um, go into a restaurant and look for a phone there? Nah, it's too risky. Plus, I already got the door unlocked. Already, but it's only been a few seconds. That's what he said. Ugh, you're such a pervert. Come on, you know that was just a joke. Well, that was just that was that was a good joke. Um, I don't know. Uh, hello, anyone home? Val, uh, what what are you doing here? Uh, well, holy shit, you look like a, you look like a complete mess in your leg. What happened to it? You see, Alex and I were in an explosion, and don't tell me, did Alex die? Wait, what? Oh, this is terrible news. I'm so sorry, Val. <laughs> no, Alex isn't. What the f- don't worry, Valentina. I'm here for you. Uh, That's very sweet of you, but now that we're done grieving Alex, <laughs> he's, he's a fucking ass. I think it's time we uh pursue our relationship. What, what what relationship? Don't fight it, baby. Alex would would have wanted you to move on with someone that's amazing as me. You're delusional and you're sexy when you're mad. Stop trying to steal my wife, Vega. Damn it, you're a, you're a lot. <laughs> I'm glad to know you care about me so much, Miguel. Don't take it uh too personally, Callahan. I just envy what you have. If I dated Valentina, I would be famous. I would uh, get to hang out with hot models all day and I'd go on some awesome work trips with her. So you would only date me to use me for my model status? And because you have a hot bod, boy, get your ass on. You know, every time we talk, my dislike for you increases. I agree wholeheartedly. If you guys hate me so much, why are you in my house? Better yet, how did you get into my house? We broke in. You broke in? You didn't answer the doorbell. The doorbell's broken. I I told you that. Hmm, must have slipped my mind. Why did you break into my house, Alex? Because there's something important I need to tell you. All of you, actually. Is Diego and Bianca here? Yeah, but why do you need to talk to us? It's going to, uh, oh, let's go into the living room and speak. How the hell are you going to direct somebody around in their goddamn house? And aren't we in the fucking living room? So, so, wait, so you're saying, yeah, I saw Sophia in the Western compound. Are you sure? Are you sure it was her? I'm positive she said my name before I was knocked out. Holy shit. Holy shit, she's alive. She's really alive. 
Alex, you have to take me to the Russian compound. We we have to go to get her. Whoa, slow down, man. I'm 100% sure the Russians deserted that compound right now. At, we're right after that, our attack. I don't think she's there anymore. Then where is she? I have no no idea where she is. But we're certain she's alive. So we are going to find her. I can promise you that. How? With this. Alex grins wickedly as he raises the black safe for Diego to see. The safe, how do you get it back? I have my ways. Uh, what are we going to do with it? Blackmail the Russians? No, we would never, that would never work. We need to open it up the safe and we need to finally see what's inside of it. Once we know the Russians' top secret information, we can use it to take down the Russians once and for all while saving Sophia. I guess you're right. I'm always right. So, are we going to open it? I'm dying to see what's inside. Alright, let's open it. What's the passcode here? 9415. We all wait in anticipation as Alex types in the passcode into the safe. Seconds pass slowly. So freaking slowly. Finally, the passcode goes through and the safe unlocks. Alex grabs the handle and starts to turn it. I lean in closer, trying to get a better look. Baby, you're breathing down my neck. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Just look inside the damn safe already. Alright, alright. He opens the door and reaches inside the safe. Fucking hell. What was inside? Alex holds his hands out and reveals a small, sleek black flash drive. A flash drive? A flash drive? There's the juicy Russian files? Well, where's the juicy Russian files? Where's the juicy Russian files? On the flash drive, I guess. Well, let's plug it into the computer. We can't. Why not? The flash drive is missing the part you plug into the computer. What? Damn it. Those fucking Russians be bested us again. It's no use. We're never going to get um, Sophia back. Some Spanish. Calm down. We'll find another way. This is just a minor setback. We'll find the other half of the flash back and retrieve the files. But how? It could be anywhere. I'll find a way. I always find a way. Excuse me. I'm Alex motherfucking calling in. Okay, honey. I do. I can do anything. Okay, Mr. Overconfident. Tone it down, will ya? You know I can't, my girl. The, the overconfidence comes with the Alex Callahan package. Lucky me. Thank you guys for helping us with this. It means a lot to us that you go through all of this for our family. I agree, the Vegas will forever be in your debt. Do you promise, Miguel? Because I'm fixing for a back rub <laughs> right now. You know I could use the back rub, too. In your dreams, Callahan. But, Val, I could rub some other places for you other than your back. All you have to do is ask. They go watch it. Not I punched his ass right in his throat. Who the hell are you talking to? How about uh, you give that special massage to Alex? I know he'll appreciate it. Uh, if you touch me, Miguel, I'll slit your throat. I thought you wanted a back rub, Alex. Not if it involves him touching my... I don't say this word, you guys. My penis. I don't say that word. It's so vulgar. I know. <laughs> it's rich coming from me. Alex, I didn't know you were here. Oh, Bianca, girl. What the hell? Hi, Bianca. How are you? Better now that you're here. Um, oh, it's you. Yeah. You know, a simple hi would be, uh, will yeah, will be great once in a while. I'm sure it would. <sighs> Bianca, did you hear the news? Sophia's alive. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. She's been gone for three years. Is that really the best reaction you can give, Bianca? Fine. Yippee, my sister's alive. Is that better? Anywho, I wanted to ask. 
uh, you something, Alex. What's on your mind? Do you want to be my plus one for the uh, for the Baham- for the Bahamas trip? Excuse me, Bichanka. Who the hell do you think you are? My husband will be my plus one. Damn, I kind of like it when Val gets jealous like this. And I like it more when she calls me her husband. How about you let your husband decide for himself who he wants to go with? I'm going with Valentina. Well, that was fast. Shut up, Diego. (laughs) Don't be sad, Bianca. You can just take me. Ew, no thanks. That's your loss, Alex. I could have showed you a good, a great time. Can I punch that bitch? Cause at this point, I'm I'm over your motherfucking sister. Okay. Do you mind if I use your phone? I need to call Fidel to pick us up. I can just drop y'all off. It's no problem. Thanks, man. Excuse me. No, thank you, Alex, for bringing my hopes back. It was nothing. Oh, you guys have a, a moment. Um, don't be shy with kids. Can can y'all tell them, can you tell them about that whole kid? They got a fucking nephew. Hello. We're not cute, Val. We're mafia, man. You're still adorable, Val. Jesus, fuck. Who the fuck came up with this Jesus, fuck thing? Like, ugh. He's so cute when he's embarrassed. (laughs) Mm-hmm. God, what a day. Um, but it was kind of fun, was it not? Are you crazy? I was almost getting killed fun. When you escape death as much times as me, it becomes a little crazy. Well, you become a little crazy. I can imagine. Yeah, hell do he look just like the goddamn Baker Brothers. Where have you two love where have you two love love birds been? Escaping death and all that shit. What have you been doing all day? Well, while you two were out doing God knows what, I've been packing. Packing for what? Oh, God, don't tell me. I'm coming to the Bahamas, sis. And it's all thanks to my girlfriend, Cleopatra Armstrong. No. Oh, yes. No. We're going to have so much fun, Val. I honestly doubt that. You better start packing. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Um, no, I still got two days. Val, the showcase is in two days. You're supposed to leave a day early, remember? Shit, you're right. How could I forget? You see, it's a good thing I'm going on this trip. Um, no, but thanks for reminding me, bro. Are you going to pack? Nah, I'll just buy all my clothes there. You must be happy to finally take a vacation. I have a feeling this trip isn't going to be a vacation, especially with this Nick uh, Pearson guy. Don't be so paranoid, Callahan. It's our next. Oh, this is our chance to relax. See you tomorrow. <laughs> to be continued, you guys. And that was kind of boring. I hope you guys enjoy. I mean, well, it wasn't boring. It really was. Well, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of boring, but it, then again, it really wasn't. But yeah, I don't know when the next one comes out, you guys. So don't ask. And um, they didn't tell. Hope you guys enjoy. Love you guys. And see you next time. Well, not see you, but you know, you'll hear from me again, girl.